On the 23rd of June, Britain stood up for itself, OK? We voted for Brexit. We stuck two fingers up to the unelected leaders of the EU, who, by definition, we can't vote for, and more often than not, were terrible at their own political jobs in their own countries. Take Jean-Claude Juncker, for example. Would you honestly trust him to babysit your kid? No, of course not. So why on earth would you trust him to run a continent, for goodness sake? He may claim that he's never touched a drop of alcohol in his life, but given the alleged hours he puts in at the bar, I would be shocked to discover that he's put the word in into continent. Yes, make of that what you will, on a particularly rowdy night. But at least you could sack your babysitter, and that's the point. You couldn't sack old John claude could you? Oh, no. Between January and February 2016, say that again, between January and February 2016, and February's a short month, as we all know, shortly before we were all told, obviously, that we were going to leave the EU, we voted for it, EU commissioners alone spent €500,000 on transport and on hotels. Good old Jean-Claude spent 25k on a private plane to Rome. He could basically have walked to Rome from where he was. This lot, they're on the take, OK? There isn't enough gravy in the world, or indeed trains, to even compare the Brussels bigwigs to people riding an actual gravy train, in my opinion. Ursula von der Leyen, the current puppet master of Europe, was Germany's former defence secretary. Well, that's you equivalent of being a supply teacher that specialises in Harry Potter studies, isn't it, really? Useless. And she even managed to cock that up. Her armed forces had to train with broom handles instead of guns because she couldn't get them enough guns, which I think is, is, a, is, a, is a warning sign for anyone, isn't it, really? And now this woman, who looks like she uses more hairspray than Bobby Charlton's hairdresser, is running an entire continent, OK? Giva Hofstra. Do you remember good old Guy? We all remember Guy. The best thing about him was his teeth and they needed extensive reconstruction surgery. Donald Tusk, where is he now? Probably counting the millions that European taxpayers gave him over the years. Why on earth would Boris, or Brits even, want to be run by that lot? Put it this way, if there was an unattended brewery, this lot wouldn't manage to find a pint glass, let alone get drunk, OK? Of course, we voted to leave. And they should have got down on their knees, in my opinion, and begged us to stay, because none of their countries would exist if it wasn't for us. But we can't ignore the fact that we haven't done Brexit properly. The main reason behind Brexit was to control immigration, and frankly, that's got worse. We've already proven that Remainers were wrong. Just look at the vaccine rollout, for example, or how we've handled the Ukraine crisis. But we need to finish the job. On this special day, on this anniversary, I want to issue a rallying cry. We need to finish the job. We need to fully take back control of our laws, our borders and our money. People bang on about the idea that not everybody in the UK voted for Brexit. All right, fine. But if every single person in the UK had a gun held to their head and was made to vote, I can tell you right now that the margin of victory for Brexit would have been a lot higher than 52% plays 48%. A lot higher. But facts are facts. And until we get hold of immigration, people will wonder what they voted for. Today is a very proud day, a very proud day in our nation's history, the anniversary of Brexit. But we need to finish the job.